Hi guys, Roseanne here. I hope you all had an absolutely fantastic day yesterday, Christmas Day. I certainly did with my uh, son Thomas. It was just a quiet day. I managed to make the dinner without any uh, any problems. I did forget the pigs in blankets though. And the sprouts, they didn't actually cook through which was a bit disappointing because everything else cooked through perfectly and they were in the steam with the other veg and the other veg clean uh, cooked through perfectly but it was a nice dinner and we sat and we watched a couple of films and he was here till about seven o'clock until I had to take Lily out uh, because she was fighting to go out, bless her. She hadn't been out all day. So I took her for a little walk over the road just for her to relieve herself and then come home because uh, I don't like walking the dog at night. I don't feel safe walking the dog when it's dark. So I try to do her walks when there's a bit of daylight left. Uh, anyway... Today, I've come in to try and finish some of the things that I've half started. I mean, the other day when I tried to do the vase, I finished the resin off in the this, the, the mould for the lid. So, I'm going to see about filling the base of that one. And... I don't know whether to do the skull. I mean, the skull will need quite a bit of colouring, I think, because there's quite a lot of foliage around that one with the leaves. And I don't know whether they're petals or what. I don't know. It looks as if they might be uh, the beginning of flowers. So... I might see if I can turn that inside out a bit and uh, colour it in. So let, let's see what I can do and if I can do it. It doesn't look too bad. I might be able to colour it in a bit. So I'm going to give that a go. I haven't mixed any resin yet. Excuse me while I have a mouthful of tea. Oh, I love a cup of tea. I mean, we didn't even have alcohol yesterday because my son's not really bothered about alcohol and I haven't uh, drank for years and years. It just caused too much trouble in my life. So, with the partners I had at the time. Anyway. Let's see what colours I'm going to use. I'll bring them over. See if I can pick some colours out of here. Right. Now then, the foliage. I'll do in in greens and the buds I'll do in a red do I use wine red or just red rose red looks very similar just to red Hmm. Now then, rose red. I might try to get a tiny bit of orange in there. So, foliage, buds, and it looks as if he's got a bit of a a moustache. So. I'll be filling it with black, probably. 
So I can leave that to be filled with black. Um, the skull itself, what should I do? Should I do it in a, a blue or a purple? I'm really into the purple ones. So I might colour that purple. And I'm not going to keep you on too long while I'm colouring because then it'll just get boring for you. So I'll just make a start on it and then uh, see how we go from there. Now do I use I might use a brush that one looks as if it's uh, not being cleaned out right now then just check check his face has he got uh, yes it looks as if he's got eyebrows as well so they'll have to be left in black mm -hmm. right I'll see what I can do with the uh, with the foliage first oops a daisy and I don't want any of it falling on me so I've got to be ultra careful I'm a bit of a accident waiting to happen sometimes. Is it going to go on from that brush? Not very well. I'll get a softer brush somewhere. It's the trouble you do go through quite a lot of brushes if you if you're dipping them in in resin and you don't remember to clean it off don't want any on there so I'll have to oh, how did that get round there it's gonna be quite hard because it's it's going to fly. It's obviously going to fly. So yesterday, watched um, animated Spider-Man. I love the animated films because the work that goes into them is absolutely unbelievable. What else did I watch? I watched Big. I love that film. Absolutely love that film. Tom Hanks plays a really good part in it. What else did I watch? Um, you know, I can't actually remember the other film I watched. I left uh, Thomas in charge of the remote control because I, mean, I don't normally watch TV. I watch a lot of YouTube and that, but 
TV doesn't really interest me much, so it was easier for him to have the controls. I mean, I'm only picking a tiny bit of uh, the powder up, the mica powder, because I know if I pick too much up, even if it's a, a large gap to fill, it is going to go everywhere. So I don't want to have too much of a cleaning job on my hands. Otherwise, it'll take forever. Fingers crossed this one will actually, actually work. Because I'm going to have to do it in stages because I haven't got a deep pour yet. It, it was supposed to come before Christmas, but never did. So I'm just going to have to do it in stages. Now is that leaves? Yes, that's leaves. I'll just finish this one and I'll uh, put you on pause until I've coloured it all in. left myself a bit of a clean there because it dropped into the the crevice that I'd made turning it inside out. Now that bit is it a flower or is it a leaf? I mean, it could be a leaf, but I'd like to have a little bit more colour on this. So, not too much. I did a bit too much there. Right, put you on pause for now and I'll be back. Right guys, the main thing I wanted to do was this. And I've mixed my resin, I've put the diamond white in so that it matches the lid. And I'm going to pour this. I'm going to have to mix some other resin for my skull, which I've coloured completely. So that should be okay. That's a hard one to squeeze. I can't squeeze it because it's so tough. Mm. Right. I'm going to have to put the light on in a minute. Starting to get quite dull again.
make sure it's up as high as it'll go. It is there. And I've checked the board, it's level, so if I get the quantity right, it should not spill over. No, that looks as if it's reached the rim. So I knew I'd mix too much. I've got another mould here that I've just got a couple of days ago and it's a little castle. So I'm going to make a crystal castle. Okay, that cleaned off just now. Now then. Just this one squeeze. It nicely squeezes, yes. Good. I don't want it dripping over the edge. I always end up far too hot in here because I don't want the the resin to get too cold so that it won't it won't cure. So I've got the heater on and it's below my feet. So the first thing that gets too hot is me. <laughs> oh dear. Now then, let's have a look. Tiny little bit more. Now that should do it. It's nicely up to the edge. And I've got some left there, so what can I make with that? Got a little tub here. Possibly got enough for the tub. I did have another castle, but I don't know where I've put the castle. I'll have to get it out next time. Right, let's have a look. I think there's probably going to be enough to put in here too. There you go. Let's have a look. Right. Now that's up as far as I can uh, pour it. So let's see. What about this one? This is another one I got just before Christmas and it's clamshell so I will put a little bit in here I don't know how much it's going to take because it's sure to sure to push out a bit Where's that little uh, I'll use the opposite end of that for now. Make sure it's got into all the grooves. Put it 
over there so that uh, if it does push out which it probably will not too bad gonna be a an awkward one to cure with it being completely enclosed. Now then what else can I do? And which one was that one? I've got too much for earrings. So, I'm going to have to switch that off a second because, phew, me. things here. Oops. Right. Got some shell earrings there. Got some letters. Got a moon. A trifle and the shells first. unicorn here here's me thinking I wouldn't have enough resin and then I forgot that I was doing that the bottom of that uh, container first and find out I've got more than enough Tiny little leaves. Wow. Minute. Couple of drips. Two. Three. Four. I think better handled with UV res than these ones. Three different sized flowers. When I bought this unicorn head, 
I was hoping for quite a big one, similar to the dinosaur wall clock that I made for my uh, great nephew. Ended up with this tiny little thing, but no mind. <laughs> I'm going to put the light on because it's getting quite dull. My next job will be tidying up this place because I've done a few a few pieces and uh, not managed to clean up after myself, which I know I should. Right, put them there. See if I've got this few things right. That doesn't look as if it's right in there, but it should be. Hmm, it doesn't. Might have to move it around slightly if I can. Oops. Hmm. Yes, I can. That's worth making sure it uh, went up to the edge. So that one's okay. I get into this and make sure there's not going to be any bubbles. Because we don't like bubbles, do we? And if I go slightly over the little uh, knobs for where you put your uh, your findings to make the earrings and that, it just means you've got to drill it out a little bit. I'd rather go slightly over anyway, because sometimes you try your best to do the perfect ones by the look of the uh, mould and uh, they just don't don't look right at all this way they get a nice uh, a nice curve on the top so a nice dome I should say I'll spray in a minute. Put that one over there. Make sure it's right up into the unicorn's horn. It is. Quite a lot of little curls and that on the uh, unicorn with the hair curling up and up and around. a bit of a dab in the bottom because there's quite a few lines to make up the the look of the mane and everything so you want to make sure there's no bubbles sitting in amongst that I don't think there is time will tell now these are going to be awkward ones to try and do I might have to use a a cocktail stick for that one, which is finer. Get back out here. That's it.
I mean, I am touching the bottom, but not harshly. Because I want to make sure that the bubbles have gone from the bottom. It's a bit too much resin on this. They're actually joining up. So I'll have to clean it off a little. Right, I'm going to give these a spray. Oh, that came out in a goddamn funnel. Um, right. Oh dear, I'm a wash with it now. <laughs> when it's done but never mind now what can I do definitely taking on too much here <laughs> I'll put that over there I'll have to do that in the next one because it needs to be coloured black right Where's my pipettes? Should I use them? Fill them a bit easier. this could cause bubbles pushing the resin in with this right in the corner there. I made some fancy letters up a while ago, but they're that fancy, I don't know what to use them in. <laughs> they're certainly not big enough to do uh, keychains with, because they're too fine. That's full of bubbles. There's a bubble coming up. Right. Look 
Come on, Bubbles. Come on, burst. Get burst. Right. A, B, C. Tumble down, D. Cats in the cupboard and can't catch me. I should get a fair few letters with this. Thirty-eight minutes. I'm not doing too bad. So I'll just get these letters done and I'll wait for it all to cure. And then of course I can get on with the skull. At least it's ready and I just need to mix the resin for that. I'm getting cramping in the back of my leg. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> oh dear. Gee. Oh, bring it down again. Any bit left in there with a great big bubble. One line done. Yeah. 
pretty little jay. Looks like a fishing hook. be able to finish this row of course because there's not that much left I might get to war I've just tried to do an order with let's resin through Tunpish because she's got the cord Wendy's 10 and it didn't work. I was quite disappointed in that unless that one's finished that uh, deals finished I don't know they might start new deals after after Christmas Right, will I get a pee in a minute? <laughs> oh. In fact, I might get the cue as well. Oh, I might just finish this row. Wow. So I'll have to go right the way around them all with the micro micro brush because we definitely don't want any bubbles left because this these pipettes don't half create them. Get this washed out straight away with uh, ibuprofen, and it will be reusable. Scrape the bottom of the barrel.
course it's picking up more bubbles now because there's less bulk. Definitely the seam needs a bit more. Most of them are domed. isn't domed. The H. Or is it? It's hard to tell in this light. Ah, right. Give a bit more to the R. more. See if I can get any more out of this. That's it, right into the air. Come on, drop off. I think that might do. One more drip. Yay! Right, what else needs a drip? Tea. Right. 
in the middle there that disperses you pushes the rest up oops d e almost filled the X right let's see if I can finish filling the X left in there maybe a tiny bit will it come down yes it will a little X. Right. A seems okay. Doesn't look as if there is any bubbles in it. B. at all. I'm going to have to get a nice big project to do. I've got some mosaic tiles. So I could do a tray with mosaic tiles or a table. Yeah, I might try the table next. The um, bistro table. Get everything cleared out of the way for that one. <laughs> I will.
can see a bubble in there. None in yes, I hope. Oh, I don't want to get resin all over me. I think that'll do. Right, ladies and gents, I will be back for the demolding. Enjoy the rest of your Boxing Day. Bye for now. <coughs> Good morning, all you beautiful people out there. It's time to demold from yesterday. I'm looking forward to this. I hope uh, I hope everything's turned out okay. Probably be a first for me. Now, what can I do first? I'll do the uh, the earring bits first. Which is this one. Tiny little bits. There's a little bubble on that one. Even though I was so careful to try and stop any bubbles, I still got some. Never mind. No, there's none on that one. Just a bit of overpour to take off. Right, let's have a look. Now these have moulded together. Right, just a bit of uh, overpour on that one. There's what looks like a few bubbles just there. Which I'll try and sort out with UV resin without losing some of the definition. You can see the the lines in that. Just a bit to trim off. And there's no bubbles in that piece, so I did well with that piece. Uh, can you see that? Yes. Right now, what next? I'll do the unicorn next with its tiny, tiny little leaves. Not one single bubble in that. So tiny. Hmm. Well, they're all to separate. But they're looking quite good. Doesn't look as if there's any bubbles in any of those. Oops, a daisy. Oh. <laughs> no, then. Now there's quite a bit of trim to do on that. Round the under the chin and round there and a bit round the top but other than that it looks okay right now this I, was, I wasn't sure about this at all but let's see is quite good. That would make a nice little uh, pot or something slightly bigger to put two together and a ring inside or something for somebody. 
That's really nice. No bubbles. Definitely no bubbles. A bit of extra around the edges. But not bad at all. Right, let's have a look at the letters. <sighs> how many? How many have got bubbles? The S has got two bubbles. T's got a her. <laughs> oh dear. No bubbles in the tea. Oh, the U and the O are stuck together. Just a bit of trimming there. V. Let's see if I can take a few out. didn't I didn't fill the X up see how the X has gone like milky compared to the rest because that that's with uh, the last of the resin All right there's a couple of bubbles in the W Bubbles in the P. The M's okay. Maybe one bubble in the N. And just a tiny little bit in the O. I was really careful with all these letters and I went round them with the little micro brush to make sure there was no bubbles but still I got bubbles there's uh, a couple of bubbles in the queue yeah there's a few bubbles the G doesn't look too bad and the R there we go. And the last of them is good. No bubbles in that one. Just a little bit of bubble in the B the C is okay and the D yeah the E seems okay too and that's all the letters now then do this tub. A little bit to sand off the bottom. No 
no bubbles in that. That's turned out okay. Right, the little castle. Needs quite a bit to uh, sand off the bottom. now. Yay! Oh, I didn't realise there were hearts on the top of the castle. Now then. Check it over. Doesn't seem to be any bubbles at all. Cute little castle. Now then, last but not least, I hope this doesn't have any bubbles. <laughs> now then, how am I going to get this off? Three. Won't be going anywhere today because it's a uh, really wet day out there. Not that I need to go anywhere because. Uh, I've got everything I need at home. I think this is the last one. Yes. Right, here we go. I hope everybody's still enjoying the Christmas break. Get that put the right way out straight away. Now then. This, there's a bit to file off on the bottom because I didn't... Uh, well, I, I did dome it, but uh, it's shrunk quite a bit. It's not been level because that is flat. And as you go down to that side, it's got quite a lip. Right, here we go. Now, that is nice. No problems on any of the top, no bubbles in it or anything. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Now then, see if the lid fits. And the lid fits nicely. So that's, that's it for this project. And the next one I'll be doing will definitely be the skull. Seeing it's already painted and ready. So, okay, everybody. Love you all. And hope you are enjoying the rest of your break. Do take care. 
and I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.